All right, everybody, selfie. One, two, three. Hello, I'm Markus. I'm founder of the Shangsi Hills International Team. Today we meet with some friends and we just go out on Bailo Yuan. We have a small climb, 12 kilometers, and we'll have a nice fun day of riding because cycling is what we love. On average per year, I cycle around 20,000 to 25,000 kilometers and I love exploring. So I most likely go into some new villages. I go deep into the mountains because I'm from Amsterdam or from Germany. If I cycle here in Xi'an, in the Xining Mountains, I have stunning mountain views. I have crazy steep climbs. It's a big feeling of achievement. We're often coming out here to Bailu Yuan and Bishan across the way there. Uh, personally, I really like the scenery. There's a lot of uh, stuff I would never see back home. But I think uh, the Xining Mountains are for me more adventurous. Like there's so much stuff to explore. There are these small villages. It's sometimes like a time travel. Like if I go to some remote villages, it's like traveling back for 20 or 30 years to see how China looked, how Xi'an looked like a decade ago or two decades ago. So normally at the end of the group ride, we just gather together and uh, we have some traditional Shangxi food. We are cycling in the Xining Mountains, which is just 25 or 30 kilometers south of the city center of Xi'an. You see, beautiful nature here. Very good infrastructure for cycling. Like the roads are in good condition. There are restaurants, supermarkets, hotels everywhere. So it's super easy to get along. And I think for me as a cyclist, this is like a paradise. And I can strongly recommend you to try it yourself. So I'm now living in China for in Xi'an for six years. I see a lot of development over the years uh, when it comes to infrastructure, especially for cyclists. There are a lot of new bike paths, uh, rest stops like this one are fantastic. One, two, three, go. So you say hello to me here. On YouTube we started, uh, I think two and a half years ago was our first project. On Instagram we are one year and two months. Uh, we try to make uh, different kind of videos, like one goal is uh, to show Xi'an to the foreign world. So we use a lot of uh, drone footage, we show different places so people get an idea how Xi'an really is. Because in the foreigner's perspective, they don't really know about Xi'an. Maybe they know the Terracotta Army and that's it. There's, they just don't know more about the city. So we want to show different places. We want to show historical places, but also modern places, because Xi'an has both of them. So we have a big spectrum of uh, what we want to cover. Yeah, Viva Xi'an is organizing various uh, events, like we have different offline activities. Our goal is to bring locals together with foreigners, so each part can understand the other part in the culture and society better than before. Viva Xi'an Open Mic is a relatively uh, new idea, and the idea is to give people the chance to get on stage to show their talent. We have uh, dancers, singers, stand-up comedians, some people play the guitar or other instruments. It is basically a safe spot to show your talent and have some audience and have some stage feeling. So it's basically an opportunity for artists to be visible in Xi'an. It is also a different event compared to other events in towns. So it's a nice new thing for our audience. I have the feeling that the people of Xi'an, no matter if they are Chinese or experts, are very open to new activities and new things to discover and just want to get together. So that's a very nice thing I like to support. Like there are so many different nationalities, different cultures, and we want to bring together these foreigners together with locals to experience a better life and make more interactions and have a better understanding for each other. So the Holy Festival was a collaboration with my friend Dev. 
He's Indian, he's a restaurant owner. And our idea was to show Indian culture in Xi'an. So we brought a lot of locals, foreigners, people from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, from India, all together to a beautiful festival. We had a lot of fun, a lot of drinks and food, a lot of color throwing. So basically it was a place to have some little India in Xi'an. We help people to know Xi'an. And we are so proud of that because like, we have a lot of different kind of people. Students coming to Xi'an, tourists yeah, coming to Xi'an, different kind of people. And this kept motivating us. And I just want to continue this process of uh, bringing foreigners together with local people to make Xi'an a better place.